Blessed family. We know I alone really do live I show my face here. This morning I want to speak to us a bit above on the book of Genesis chapter three couple of verses there. I want to speak to us as you get on this live. I would like you to just do a, a watch party, invite a friend, don't forget to share it to our group and share it to WhatsApp contacts, I mean somebody. So as you come on live, don't forget to share and like and share. I have a YouTube channel, I would like you guys to Subscribe to my YouTube channel. Amen. Very powerful YouTube channel, which I would like you guys to subscribe to my YouTube channel. My YouTube channel. Amen. The name of my YouTube channel is Odean Prophetic. Warrior, that's my YouTube channel name. Ordained Prophetic Warrior. Amen. So as you get on the list live, you if you need any prayer, you can send in your prayer request at this time. Amen. God bless you, Stephanie. What that is watching. God bless you. I pray that the peace of the Lord may be with you. Amen. Glory to God. Isn't God amazing? And it is amazing what praise can do. Glory to God. And in spite of what is taking place now, they say that the coronavirus is everywhere. Glory to God. But our focus must not be on the corona. Our focus must be upon God. I know we may face a lot of things in our lives. Sometimes we feel discouraged that we don't know what to do. But you see when you put your trust in God, you don't have to worry. When you go back to the book of, go back to Moses, somewhere there. When the Lord promised Moses that I shall bring you to a land which there will be full of milk and honey. The reason why, glory to God, Moses did not enter the promised land was because of disobedience. Because he rather to listen to man rather than to listen to God today I pray that no one will miss heaven because of a brother or a sister glory to God we face a lot of obstacles in our life sometimes we ask ourselves the question what is my purpose and hurt or what is my purpose going to church because, bless the Lord, glory to God. Because if I am going to church and I don't know my purpose of going to the assembly of God, then something is wrong. Bless the Lord Jesus. Sometimes situation comes. But I often tell people that sometimes God, sometimes God used the pain or the situation to test your faith. God used anything to test us as Abraham. God gave Abraham a son and God said, Abraham, make a sacrifice to me with your son. Go up to the mountain and I will show you a land which is called by the name of Mount Moriah. There you shall make the sacrifice with me with your own Beloved son, whom you, you love. 
So sometimes God uses things to test us. How strong is our faith this morning? How strong is our faith? Amen, somebody. I feel like talking to somebody this morning who feel discouraged in their spirit, who feel as if they have no hope. Glory to God. I want to talk to somebody this morning who cannot hear the voice of the Lord anymore, that something is wrong with me, not hearing the voice of the Lord. Yes, I've been baptized in the name of Jesus Christ for remission of my sins. And I received the, the evidence of speaking in tongues, the gift of the Holy Ghost. But I am not hearing the voice of God for my being filled with the Holy Ghost. I don't feel that, that special connection. I, I come to talk to somebody who feels as if uh, they want the backslide because they think as if uh, there's no hope for them on earth. Amen, somebody. I want to talk to somebody who feels as if they want to show in the towel this morning. Uh, glory to God, somebody. I come to tell somebody that there's hope in Christ Jesus. Amen, somebody. I want to talk to somebody who feels as if uh, they can't go on. Amen, somebody. I want to talk to somebody who feels uh, discouraged in their spirit this morning amen somebody i want to talk to somebody this morning amen somebody who feel as if there is no hope but i want to tell you somebody this morning that there's hope in christ jesus while you still have life there is hope and peace in christ amen somebody i want to let you understand that while you live it you have hope oh god almighty sometimes we feel as if there is no hope but i want to tell you this morning that while you still have hope you still have life you still have life this morning you I breathe him, there's no pain. Amen, somebody. Hallelujah. I can breathe this morning and I can lift my hands in the air to say, Thank you, Jesus. I still have life. Amen, somebody. Don't forget to share this life. Don't forget to start our party. I want to talk to somebody the enemy has been fighting against you. Glory to God. I want you to, to, to understand that it's not the hell I'm fighting, it's the devil. Because the devil is one that's speaking to the man. Oh, Shia. Come on, somebody, praise the Lord with me. Let me pray. Father, in the name of Jesus, we give you thanks this day for your word that you are about to speak to your people or for the word you are about to speak to us as children of God. With you, we know we can smile at the storm. Bless those that are watching this live this morning. We pray for their families, their workplace, the, everything that they are going through. We fix it now in no other name because we believe your word in Jesus' name. Before I go any further, before I start to speak up, speak out in here, let me read a portion of Genesis chapter 3. Glory to God. Genesis chapter 3. I will be reading. A portion from verse 7 to verse 11. And he read us. And the eyes of them both were open, and they knew that they were naked, that they sewed fig leaves together and made themselves aprons. And they heard the voice of the Lord God walking in the God in the cool of the day. And Adam and his wife hid themselves from the presence of the Lord God. Among the trees of the garden. Glory to God. Mm. And the Lord God called unto them and said unto him, Where art thou? And he said, I heard thy voice in the garden, and I was afraid, because I was naked, and I hid myself. And he said, Who told thee that thou was naked? As thou eaten up the tree, we have a command that thou shouldest not eat. Let me stop there. 
So as I was saying, that sometimes we are saying that we have no hope. But I want to tell you this morning that why you have life, you still have hope. Why God wake you this morning, you still have hope. Echo Shaya. I want you to understand this morning that in spite of what you're going to, God is working on your situation. God is working on you this morning. Sometimes we feel as if you want to give up. But I want to tell you this morning that God is about to, to elevate you this morning. God is about to come every storm that you're going to. And I heard the Bible say he gave us power over all things. Hey, God, the devil has no authority over me. Sometimes we need to tell the devil, you don't belong there. And it's time for you to pack your things and go. Hey, man, somebody. Sometimes you got to let the devil know you had no control over my life. The reason why I read the scripture, I was going to work one morning and the Lord said to me, thank you Holy Spirit, the Lord said to me, he said, my child, mm, he said my child, I want you to be at the position that when I call you by your name, you must be able to answer me. Mm. Hey, I feel anointing in here. He said to me, I want you to be at the position that when I call you by your name, you must be able to answer me. He said to me the reason why Adam could not answer me. Because he was not at the spot to answer me. He was at a different location. If you understand that the Bible said Adam was afraid. And Adam had himself among trees in the garden of Eden. Sometimes the God is calling us, but we are not answering the living God. Hey God, come on, somebody worship God. We need to understand that you must be at a spot that when God calls your name, you must be able to answer him. Oh God Almighty, how oh, can I be a child of God? And God is calling my name, but I cannot answer. I come to tell you, heavy Holy Ghost, that when you come on judgment day, when you call it by your name, you better be holy. You better be righteous. Let me, Holy Spirit. I come to let your hand stand. Oh God Almighty. I come to let your hand stand. The adjustment day. We are going to give account for every sin, every evil words that come out of my mouth. My God heard David says, let the words of my mouth and the meditation of my heart be a serpent. Not in that mark on the high. I'm not talking to somebody. The guy I've been calling and saved. He have been calling about ladders. But you're hiding from the person of God. You're hiding from the church of the living God. I come to let the understand that if you hide from God, yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm not talking to somebody. I come to let you understand that when he call you by your name, you must be able to answer. Because if I'm filled with the Holy Spirit, I cannot hear the voice of the Lord. There's something is wrong. I need to check my relationship with God. I need to check my back. 
God. Because something is wrong. You mean to tell me that? For I feel with the Holy Ghost. I've never heard the voice of God speak to me. That means something is wrong with me. I need to check my relationship. I come to tell somebody. You don't want to go to church. But you find yourself in the party. Oh God and Mark. You don't want to go to church to fellowship. And I talk to somebody. But you find everything else to go to the party. I feel the Holy Ghost. And I talk to somebody. I come to let them understand that you are going to give a count. You are going to stand up before God and you are going to get a count for your sin. Oh God Almighty, I'm talking to somebody this morning who feel as if there is no hope. But I come to tell you that when God calls you, you better behave with the hands of Him. After long times, God is calling us, and we are not hearing because we are not positioned ourselves. The Bible says Adam was naked, Adam had himself among trees, Adam had himself. From the person of God, after ten when we come in the sin, we don't want to go back to church. We all oh God Almighty, I'm talking to somebody. We've been back learning for so long. We've been coming the sin for so long. We've been fornicating for so long. We've been telling lies for so long. We've been thieving for so long. Oh God Almighty, robbing God of His money, robbing the church of the living God. My God, my God, I'm a talking to somebody. The devil won't shut me up this morning, but I come to let you understand that when God calls you, you must be able to answer him. Because if God is calling you and you're not answering God, something is wrong. Something is wrong. Something is wrong. Because if God say, ordain, I must be able to answer. I must be in a state that any time he calls me, I must be able to answer. Come on, somebody worship the Lord. I must be at a state that when God calls me, I must be able to answer him. A lot of time God is calling us and hey Shandala Buaya. My God. God is calling a backslider this morning. I don't know who I'm talking to. But how you in the state to answer him? God is calling somebody who have been messed up. I don't know you. But God been calling somebody who have been messed up. You have been tangled up in sin. I don't know who I'm talking to. But are you in the state to answer him? You say you're filled with the Holy Ghost. But are you hearing the voice of the Lord? It's what because of Adam's sin, Adam's sin, and you know that he are naked. You know he does something wrong, so he hide himself. After that, we sin, and we are trying to hide from the church. We are hide from church. We are hide from the past because we committed sin last night. We committed sin, and we don't want the bishop to know about it. We don't want the members of the church to know about it. I'm talking to somebody. We pollute our temple. I got a might of talking to somebody this morning. And we 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 turn the eyes from the church of the living God. We are hiding from the pastor. We are hiding from the evangelist. We are hiding from the bishop. We are hiding from the members of the church of the living God. I'm attacking somebody this morning. But you can hide from man. But you cannot hide from God. Oh God, I'm at. I don't see any child that hide from God. But how could you hide from God? I don't see. I was, I was afraid because I was naked. Hey, Holy Spirit, help me here. Jesus, glory to God. I must be in a state that when He calls me, I must answer. 
I don't know who I'm talking to. You have been messed up. <coughs> Tangle up in sin. Tangle up in darkness. The devil have your mind distracted. I come to tell you this morning that we must listen to God and don't listen to man. Because the reason why Adam and Eve fall was because they rather they listen to the devil. Because if they are listening to what God said and don't follow the devil, they will have not fallen. Am I talking to somebody this morning? Yes, yes, yes. Listen to God and don't listen to man. Listen to God and don't listen to the devil. Because the devil wants to distract you with the things of this world. God said, follow me. Follow me. That God is saying to you this morning. Follow me. Follow me. Follow me. Follow me. Follow me. Glory to God. Follow me. Are you following God this morning? Are you following God this morning? My God. Because on that day of judgment, I'm telling you that you are going to give account for your sins. You are going to stand up before God. You better be holy when he calls you by your name. You better be righteous when he calls you by your name. Your lifetime better be straight to God when he calls you by your name. Because there got to be a time when we start stand before the throne of God. And we shall meet him. We shall, we shall give a count. Somebody praise the Lord. The Bible said they were naked. Mm. They were naked. This morning, are you naked in sin? Hallelujah. The Bible said they were naked. This morning, are you naked in sin? I was born and shaped in iniquity, and in sin did my mother conceive me. I was born in sin. Are you naked in sin this morning? This morning, God is telling you, come unto me. All you that are labor and heavy laden, take a yoke upon me, for because my burden is light. Jesus, this morning, Jesus is telling you, come up from darkness, come up from murder, come up from adultery, come up from fornication, come up from stealing, come out of it, come out of adultery, my God, my God. I don't know what I'm talking, but God is telling you, it's time to make your life straight. It's time to think about holiness. I stop to think about the darkness of this world because the devil want to kill you. The devil want to mess up your mind. The devil want to mess you up. But in the name of Jesus, you shall prosper. You shall prosper. The devil want to kill you. Look what the devil did to Job. I was to tell you this morning that the devil shall not have you. Yeah, 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 yeah. Come on, somebody worship. Can somebody worship the Lord with me? I come to let you understand that in spite of the coronavirus, your focus must be upon God. You are a God is going to see you too. But if the Holy trust Him, He's going to take it to the promised land. The promised land must be even our home. This world is not the home. I don't know what you're going to. But I want to tell you, you may mess up, you may commit sin, you may fornicate, but God said, I remember your sins no more. Come on, somebody. I'm not getting a warrior in here. You mess up. I 
and the devil telling you that you mess up the devil telling you that God will not forgive you but let me tell you something wipe up the devil out of your house let the devil know you don't belong here because I'm climbing up the whole pathway you had some gaining yes 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 I must have the savior with me because I dare not to walk alone yes I have the Holy Ghost for you in here hallelujah Jesus I said do you have the Holy Ghost wipe out the devil let the devil know I'm bigger than my past I'm bigger than my situation yeah 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 do I walk this to the valley at the shadows of death I shall fear no evil I'm talking to somebody this morning the devil of the mind oh god i heard the bible says that be not entangled with the yoke of bondage we are messing up in sin entangled with the things of this world running down vanity running down the world i heard the bible says that all is vanity you can have the whole world satan but give me Jesus, I said, do you ready to follow Jesus? This may be your last day to repent. This may be your last chance to get to straight to God. This may be your last chance to get into holiness. This may be your last chance. You are on your last chance this morning. I don't know I'm talking to her, but you may be on your last chance. Get this straight. Get this straight. Get right with God. I don't know which box lie this morning. Oh God. But you may mess up. But I come to tell you. Make it straight. Get straight to God. Because the devil come to come and tell you. That you are messed up. You are committing a sin. Like that I rebuke suicide of thoughts. Help me Holy Ghost. I rebuke suicide. I rebuke broken vessel. I rebuke cancer. I rebuke sickness in your body. I rebuke it in the name of Jesus. That no weapon that form against you shall be held with the pastor. I command every evil tongue that rests up against you to become them even now in the name of Jesus. I got in my to come on somebody. Worship with me. Worship the Lord with me, somebody. I don't know your story. I don't know you. But friends may laugh at you. The enemy may laugh at you. They may talk about you. But I come to tell you, you are coming out. Out top the storm. Come out from sin. Come out from darkness. I don't know you. But I come to tell you. This may be your last chance to make it straight. This may be your last chance to come out from darkness. You are naked in sin. The Bible says the Adam and Eve, they were naked on the Adam themselves among trees in the garden because they knew that they do something wrong. I don't know you, but you are do commit something you will commit a sin but I tell you this morning repent repent to the Lord he will forgive you he shall supply your needs according to his riches in glory my God my God you have been struggling but all long all long all long shall you stay down in sin this morning Jesus, help me, Holy Spirit. Help me, Holy Spirit. Hey, God. Hey, God. Hey, God. Come out from darkness. Come out from darkness. Come out from darkness. 
people may laugh at you and say that you are a child of God, telling you they're just like whole man, telling you just like whole woman. But let me tell you something, just like Christ, just holy, walk holy, talk holy. My God, it's all about holiness. Tell them that the Bible says without holiness, no one shall see the Lord. I come to let you understand that you must maintain your holiness. You must live right. I don't know you. I don't know you. My God, my God, this may be your last chance to get it straight. I don't know you, but darkness overshadow you. I come to let you understand. It's the new season. You are both to give birth. I say you are both to give birth. My God, this is your season. This is your season of deliverance. This is your season of virtue. Come out from darkness. I said this may be your last chance. I said you are both to give birth. You are both to travel in the world. The devil don't want you to travel. But in the name of Jesus, you shall go on that plane. You can tell the people that God says, except you repent, ye shall likewise perish. My God, my God, I feel a revival in my spirit that there's something above to take over. You don't add the Holy Ghost today, but today, 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 today may be your day. Today, if you heard my voice, I did not your heart. In our heart, stiff neck, God tell you repent, but yet, 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 you're sitting down in your sin, sitting down in darkness, be entangled with the world, walking like the world. Oh, can I say that I am a child of God, talking like the world, just like the world, do fall in the world, come off and mock them. The Bible says, If any man be in Christ, he is a new creature all things are past all other things became new i come to tell you i come to tell you that the lord want to tell you this morning except you repent you shall likewise perish don't never shudder you don't never shudder your life come to jesus today I said, come to Jesus, come to Jesus today, my God, come to Jesus, you are naked to sin, the Bible said Adam and Eve, they were naked, they were both naked, they had themselves among leaves, trees, cover themselves with leaves, to make aprons, I come to tell you, I come to tell you, when I hear the law pass in your side, you better make sure that you're willing to follow him. Oh God, I heard the Bible says that any man shall come after me, let him first deny himself, take up his cross and follow me. I come to let you understand that this is the day that the Lord has made. We must rejoice and be glad in it. Let me tell you, be glad in holiness, rejoice in righteousness, rejoice in holiness. Heaven and earth shall pass, but before his words, his words. <coughs> The Lord said to me, <coughs> the Lord said to me, you must be at a spot, at a position, that when I call you by your name, you must be able to answer. The Lord said to me, child, the reason why Adam could not answer me, because he was at a different position. He was not in the law present. He was at a different location. Doing something different from what the Lord wanted him to do. My God. Come on, somebody worship. The reason why Adam could not answer 
because he walk, he come in the sin. He find himself at a different location instead of being in the presence of the Lord. Amen, somebody. So I want you to understand. Glory to God. I want you to understand that you must maintain your gift in God. You must be at that spot that if the Lord calls you, you must answer. Amen, somebody. Come on, somebody worship. My God, we are worrying about virtue, calling, gifts, and titles. Because everyone is running on titles. Because if I don't address me as a bishop or a apostle or a prophet, and I cannot go to answer you. You don't call me a brother because I'm a bishop and I'm a prophet. <coughs> Title cannot take you to heaven because we are brothers and sisters in Christ Jesus. <clears throat> Do not run down the world. Don't run down the world. Be not entangled with the yoke of bondage. <clears throat> I, I give this testimony once and I am going to give it again. I was sick sometime, a couple of weeks now ago. In this month, thing I think. And one day I was laying in my bed reading my Bible. And I heard the voice said to me, Son, pray. I ignored the voice the first time. And the second time the voice spoke to me again. Son, pray. I ignored the voice the second time. Glory to God. And the third time I heard the voice say to me again. Son, pray. You will be healed. Rebuke the sickness. And at that while in my bed, I put my Bible aside. And I started to pray to the God. And I started to rebuke the sickness and all illness that was in my body and my mind, whatever. And when I started to do it, I, when I finished praying, I asked myself, where did the sickness go? Where did the pain go? Because at that point I was praying, and by the time I finished prayer, I could not feel a pain in my body. When I get uh, when I get out of the prayer, I feel like I could just run a stretch because I was healed. He was wounded from my transgressions. <laughs> The chastisement of your peace was hope on him by his stripes. I am healed by his stripes. I am healed. I don't know you, but you may sick this morning. You may feel sick. You may feel cursed. But I come to tell you, go on to heal you. He wants to deliver you. But if all you trust him, if all you do what he says, my God, I come to tell you that if your God is dead, come try my God. Woo! I said, if your God is dead, come try my God. Oh God, if you serve a dead God, come try mine. Because my God always working. My God never sleep. So if your God asleep, come try my God. Because my God is a healer. He is a provider. My God, I said, if you have a dead God, come try mine. 
my God, when Sodom means and the bend the go in the fire, I heard when the king go there and the king says, I put three in the fire, but no, I see four. My God, my God, if you're God, then come try mine. Let me give you a next story. My God, don't they were placed in the lion den because they fought in praying. My God, then they pray to God and God locked the lion's mouth. I see if your God did come try my God. If your God did come try mine. What is it that you are praying for this morning? We are seeking for things that do not satisfy our soul. Praise the Lord, somebody. We are seeking for things that do not satisfy our soul. My God, we are seeking, running down vanity, running down the world. Because I need big house and expensive car and I need a beautiful uh, nice husband and a beautiful wife I need some nice kids I need some money in the bank and I need uh, this and I need all that but what are you seeking for your soul we are seeking for things that uh, do not uh, satisfy our soul praise the Lord Jesus we are seeking things that do not uh, satisfy our soul Praise the Lord Jesus. Amen, somebody. I don't know you, my Koshata Baha. My God, but we are seeking for things that do not satisfy our soul. My God, is your soul right to God? This morning, this morning, are you naked to sin? This morning, are you naked? This morning, are you naked? The Bible says that... My God, the Bible says that Adam and Eve, they were both naked. Oh God, this morning, are you naked in sin? When the Lord God said, Adam, where had do? Adam could not answer because Adam was afraid. This morning, are you afraid of sin? Are you afraid of darkness? You must be at a position that when God calls you by your name, you must be here able to answer him the reason why many of us cannot receive the Holy Ghost and we've been in church for so long huh, and we cannot receive the gift of the Holy Ghost that uh, God promised us that uh, it's because we are entangled with the yoke of bondage uh, it's because our life is not straight uh, it's because our mind is not clean uh, it's because our heart is dirty and we keep in malice uh, and have some dirty stuff in our heart uh, that that is that's stopping us from receiving the gift of the Holy Spirit. Can I receive the Holy Ghost because my life is not clean? My, I do, I'm not living the way that God wants me. Let me tell you, the time when I start to live right, the time when I let go of the past, the time when I let go of some people that are in your life, the time when I let go of some false doctrine, the time when I let go of some idols, the time when I let go of some things, you will receive the Holy Ghost. Hey, glory. Hey, God. Praise the Lord Jesus. Ah, ah, oh God. I heard the Bible says that in the Lord's days that he shall pour out of his spirit upon all flesh, upon your sons and your daughters. It's upon your sons and your daughters. The young women shall prophesy. Young men shall prophesy. Old men shall dream dreams. You shall see visions. Young men shall see visions. <laughs> hey God. I want to be at the spot that when he calls me by my name, I, I must be able to answer him. God bless you, sister. Tristana. God bless you. Glory to God. I must be able to answer him. 
You want the Bible? Let me take you to the book of Acts chapter 17. Acts 2 verse 17. Glory to God when the Bible talk about uh, God in the last day. Acts 2. Acts 2 verse 17. And the Bible say in the book of Acts 2 verse 17. And it says that it shall come to pass in the last days, say God. I report of my spirit upon all flesh. And your sons and your daughters shall prophesy. And young men shall see visions. And your old men shall dream dreams. You want me to get your next scripture? Joel 2, 28. Praise the Lord. Joel 2. Joel 2, verse 28. Joel 2, verse 28. And it says, And it shall come to pass afterwards that I report out of my spirit upon all flesh. And your sons and your daughters shall prophesy. Your old men shall dream dreams. Your young men shall see visions. So let me tell you, men. Don't let nobody tell you say so you can't preach. Young women, women of God, you are you are wom you are warrior in the sight of God. Let nobody in there you tell you say so you can't preach. Let nobody shut you up and tell us. Man, I'm a shepherd. Yaku shanda baha. I will stop you this morning. Young women, don't let nobody shut you up. God used a donkey to preach. God used the boy. Mako shanda baha. Yaku shanda baha. I said, don't let nobody tell you so you can't preach. You will God say, it's a poor out. A God Almighty. Young women, stand up for God. Let nobody shut it up. They must, they must blaspheme against God's word. Say God say you never preach. Say God say you must stay home. I must go and go out to husband. That and that. Let nobody shut it up. You can't stop God from doing his work. Will. If God want to use that woman, may God use him. Pray for the woman I encourage her to tear her down. You know, if you want to block, if you want to block me after this, you can go ahead and block me. If you want to criticize me now, you can go ahead and criticize me. I'm speaking facts. I'm speaking facts this morning. Like the rushing of a mighty wind. God said, I shall pull out my spirit upon the office. And your sons and your daughters shall prophesy. And your whole men shall dream dreams. You young men shall see visions. I that the Bible said, and the means to so God says so. John 1 said, In the beginning was the word, and the word was God, and the word was God. It was in the beginning. It was the word. He is the word. Psalm 150 says, Let everything that I've read praise the Lord. <clears throat> if I've read this morning, praise the Lord. If I've read this morning, praise the Lord. If I have this morning, praise the Lord. If I have this morning, praise the Lord. If I have this morning, praise the Lord. Glory to God in the highest. If I have this morning, praise the Lord. If I have this morning, praise the Lord. If I have this morning, praise the Lord. I say, if I have this morning, praise the Lord. Glory to God. If I have this morning, praise the Lord. I'm closing. If what I preach to you this morning from God touch you and you want to make a change, this may be your day. 
Don't forget to share. Don't forget to share this live. Don't forget to share this live. Don't forget to share. Share to a friend. A group. Your WhatsApp contact, your messenger contacts. Don't forget to share. And please to subscribe to my YouTube channel. My name, my YouTube channel is Odin Prophetic Warrior. Amen. Odin Prophetic Warrior. So go to YouTube and type in that name and please subscribe to my YouTube channel and share it. There are some nice inspired videos on there for you. You'll be encouraged while you watch those videos. I love you, the love of God. Father, I pray for those who watch this live this morning. I pray for everyone that listen, that watch this live, those who will share, those who will be encouraged this morning. And I ask you, living God, to take control of their life. I ask you to turn their life around and save those that are unsaved. Save the backsliders, bring them back, oh God. Oh Lord Jesus, I ask you, Lord, as you come down even now and touch your people that are sick at this time, release the anointing upon them, receive the gift of the Holy Ghost, shut up. My God, you know all about them. Your promise will never leave us, nor forsake us. Thank you for giving us up our sins. Thank you for helping us. Provide for those who need to be provided for. My God, you know the needs of your people. Oh God, I heard the Bible saying, Glory, Lord, Lord, the Lord is my shepherd. I shall not want. My God, somebody's man is hungry and thirsty after you. Huh? You said, Any man hungry and thirsty after you, huh? let him come out to you huh? and drink. So I bless them in Jesus' name. God bless you, Sister Chisana. Glory to God. Hallelujah. Feel free to inbox me whenever you need an encouragement or prayer. Feel free to inbox me. Glory to God. May peace of the Lord be with you. God bless you. Don't forget to share this like. And please to subscribe to my YouTube channel. Odin, Prophetic Warrior. Peace, love, shalom.